<laughs> so now we've we, we just caught you when you've come off stage. You've been nice enough to give us some time. So not only did we, we did we see you or well, the last half of your, your performance tonight, but also saw you John Williamson as well. And I'll tell you what, absolutely amazing. Now. I don't know what it is and what you bring to the stage, but it certainly is magical. What do you attribute that to? My power. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> that explains why I can't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I, I really couldn't uh, tell you why. I'll probably uh, try to explain it anyways. Yes. You know, as good as I get. A lot of white people, when they come to see John's show, because John always, me and John always had this, uh, this black and thing, black and white thing going for yeah. years. And a lot of them, you know, like, even today, there are a lot of white people in Australia don't know very all about the black people they live in. Mm. They know more about the people from New Zealand, say, or or China or yeah. whatever, and other indigenous people, you know? But they don't know anything about their own indigenous people. And, and when they come to John's shows, they, they like to... When I mean, they, they get proud, they're sort of proud mm. of what they see, you know? And, and, and it's, sometimes it's... Um, I'm doing this a lot, aren't I? Yeah. So... <laughs> Just be you, we love you for it. Godfather. Stick, stick something up my mouth. I was going to say, use your hands so much, you could be attacked then. Yeah, so, so that's, that's what a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of people will do because they can't go out of the bush and yeah. can't see that. So they have to come to John's show and sort of experience whatever I can give them. Well, I think that's, that's a great mm -hmm. thing because you do, you offer something different. And um, uh, I mean, e e even for me growing up, I didn't experience uh, or learn enough about Aboriginal culture. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, just by experiencing your shows and the stories that you, you've got to tell, I think it's it's just great. And there should be more of it. Yeah, I mean, like, and too, it's uh, all Australian people take this country for granted mm. and everything in it. And like, it took a recession to make everyone stay here and come to Tamworth, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I also think one of the great things about your music is. Especially with country music, there's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of other people singing about Australia and you know how much they love it. Mm. But I think it's really different with you being an, an, an Aboriginal singing about your country and your stories and your view of it. I think that's there's a whole lot more heart there that you could ever find with anybody. But else. it's a, it's a funny thing too. Like uh, what I found that when I write when I write something uh, about the bush, I, I write songs. I mean. My, uh, the songs that I've written over the last year are all about the city because I live out of the bush. You know, you know what I mean? I have to come to the city and write. The city gives me inspiration. Yeah. Uh, it's bush too. I mean, it's concrete bush. So because I live with, I live out of bush. So I so, don't want to write about, write about a tree over there. I see it every day. You know. So I come if I go to the city. Yeah. And it's different. Now, one thing fascinates me about you is you speak more than one language. I'm flat out with English. You know English is backwards, so... Here we go. <laughs> I know I'm in trouble here. <laughs> back up, back up. Back up. <laughs> but it is. I mean, English, I mean, like, I, I don't speak that, but I, but I... English is probably my fourth language, so... Yeah, so what else have we got in the smallest book? What, what we got? I don't know. Yeah. That's... Then there's... Lurija, mm -hmm. um, this I can hear my grandmother's, I can understand my grandmother's language, and there's that English thing, yeah, English thing. English thing? English, English thing. language, yeah. So, so when you write your songs, do you write them in English, or one well, other? Well, see, a lot, of, a lot of people ask me, why don't you write in um, your own language? I speak my own language, you know, I live my own language. Writing in English is more challenging for me, as an Aboriginal person. Mm -hmm. So if, if I write in English and make other people understand it, then it's easy for me. I mean, if I sing it in my language, nobody would understand what I'm singing about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I could be running them down, so... 
but I'm not going to See, I, I, have, I have that thought too about those people that, that, that get those, um, all that uh, Chinese writing tattooed on their back. I wonder if yeah. there's a really clever tattoo artist that just, that okay. just goes, this is so not what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, yeah, I mean, see, the, because <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, a lot of, a lot of white people from here, or not, but a lot of Australian people go overseas to find themselves. Mm. Yeah. Why, where are they, why are they going overseas, like India and all that place? They can find themselves here, you know? Mm. We got a bigger country than India. You know? Nothing in people, between, yeah. you know? I mean, they can get lost for a while. And, We'll, we'll find them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you got a great sense of humour. So what what do you do for fun? Because um, I mean, you you probably you, you work a fair bit. You you sing and doing shows and and uh, doing some great stuff. Well, so what do you do for fun? Well, well fun. I I mean, like I, I, I like I like going home. Um, like hanging out with the kids. Drive out bush where there's not, nothing else. Just us not you know. Sit down and. Look for bush tech and just drive around. That's that's fun. Okay. Yeah, you, you touched on bush tucker and I'm gonna fly with oh. bush. Okay. Favorite bush tucker. What, what 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 do you when you're walking through the bush you go, I could really go a bit of that? Well there's there's plenty. Yeah. Mean, kangaroo will always be up there. Yeah. Kang kangaroo. And you, I, I feel ripped off. I went to a restaurant and I paid forty five dollars. For a main meal of kangaroo. Now I reckon you guys don't pay forty five bucks for it. Did you ask them what part of the kangaroo it was? I was scared to. You know the best part is that the back I mean tail. The tail. Yeah, that's it. That's tenderized all over the place. Yeah. How about you they gave you something? I bet they gave me something <laughs> completely different to the tail. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, what, what favourite bush tucker? Okay, well, kangaroo would, 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 would have to be the first one, favourite. Then then when all the other bush tuckers, like the fruit bush tuckers, when they're in season, they're pretty good, like, lovely, you know? Now, when I think bush tucker, I think of those witch tea grubs. Are they, are they tasty? Are they good? Hey, you can eat them on the go, you Because that's the one, when, 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 you, when you see TV shows about bush tuckers, why is it, why is it always the grub. I don't know, why is it everyone going to eat bush, I mean, witch tea grub for? Couldn't they eat something else like that? Go on or something like that? Yeah, go on, go on, go on, you can aim you. But that, but that, oh. Is that a coat of arms? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm. well I can aim you. I, <laughs> see, I, I'm all for experiencing Australian food, and, and I'll tell you what the aim you burgers, that's, that's my favourite by far. See, I mean, Macca's should swap to aim you burgers. But, like, when they're selling to the restaurant, they, the thing they do wrong is, I mean, cook it once. Mm. In traditional way, you have to cook it twice in, in the round oven. Yeah. And you chop it up to your coal. So, I don't know what it does. But it tastes better. Yeah. And it, and it makes it softer. But uh, when, you, when you put it in the, in the ground, yeah. it softens up. But when you put it on the cold skin, it, it makes it softer more. Uh, and it tastes better. Wow. And what's your favourite thing about Aboriginal culture that you think that white people should know and understand? What's a favourite? Yeah. What, what, what's the biggest thing that you think white people should understand about Aboriginal culture? Well, they're living in Aboriginal culture. They're living in it, you know. Australia is our own culture, mm. you know? our land itself. You know, as soon as you step on this land, this is our own culture. And I suppose that we should all take more time to learn more about it. Yeah, I mean, just be serious. Like, if you're walking out of the bush, you know, there's a, just have time to look at and look at it. Because a lot of people just come change all and cut everything down. Well, where is all the animals going to go? You know? The animals are there for a reason. You know? The trees are there for a reason. No wonder we get droughts. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what a great message. You, you're tough fun. You can come back <laughs> anytime, right? Actually, you know, you've, got to come, you've got to come over for, for, for dinner and you've got to cook up some Australian stuff. Oh, yeah, we should. Yeah, we'll yeah I'm, I'm up for that. Go shooting? Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, oh, we'll go to your place. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be that'd be even better. We'll get some real food. <laughs> 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 Thanks, mate. Bye, bro.